Hey guys, Sam Lanley here and welcome to vlog number four where I'll be discussing the fourth S in the 5S development model, which is stability. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but since I started this series and obviously we just need one more, uh, hopefully next week, is that I've started from very young age. So I started from infancy, then to toddlers, then to childhood, and then today we're gonna to be talking about adolescence. So each of these um, S's that I've mentioned are key for each specific stage, but they cannot be applied to any of the stages, but I, I think it makes it easy as we see why it's important for each stage, specifically stability today. Just thinking of adolescence, I mean, what, what comes to mind? What do you start thinking of? What do you start feeling when you think about how you were as an adolescent? I'm sure if you look at a couple of your pictures, you start saying to yourself, I was such a dork, I was such a nerd, I was, you know, why did I wear that? All of these different things that come to mind. But what we don't often remember, or we, we may actually remember, is how we behaved and how we felt and how we thought throughout that time. In the midst of all of that, there's a lot of this, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. So all of this constant ebb and flow, and, you know, these extremes of, highs and lows in how we felt and how we thought and how we even you know identified ourselves there's a lot of things that happen during adolescence that make life very confusing for for that teenager um and just a little bit more background on me for those of you who don't know too much about my background but i taught in a pr private uh, christian school for about seven to eight years and i work with middle and high school students and i can definitely attest to the constant roller coaster of feeling these different emotions and dealing with these different types of identity issues and trying to figure out you know what i'm going to do with my life and so on so i get it you know i totally understand what that stage is like and then obviously being a teenager at, at, some, at one point myself i reflect on that and i think to myself man I, I don't even know what i was doing right so there's this ebb and flow or this extremes these these levels of extremes in the life of an adolescent and the question is well if they are feeling these extremes what in their life is stable what kind of stability do they have in their lives and that always comes back to us as parents obviously right now i don't have any teenagers but I know that one day I will. I have worked with a lot of teenagers myself, but it's different obviously when you're, when you're a parent. So I'm, I'm still waiting on that. So those of you guys who have kids that are teenagers and now adults, you know, I really appreciate your feedback in the comment section below, just on, you know, what else to expect and so on. But one of the things that I have seen to work very well is having a sense of stability. Again, because of the structure of the family in today's culture, you know, you don't have mom and dad as present as we did uh you know a couple of years ago or many years ago it's kind of divided right or there's little to no time spent with kids so because of that constant instability where are they going to get it from so sometimes it is from school sometimes they go to school and the stability stems from the relationship that they have with the teacher right the teacher makes them feel welcome secure or confident in their abilities and other times they may not feel that way, right? Even though any of those things may, may be present, ultimately it comes back to the home. It's the parent's job to be the stable or the stability, present, provide the stability for their child. The reason why that's important is because as they're experiencing all these highs and lows in their lives, they need to have someone in their life who they can turn to and provides a sense of stability, a sense of security a sense of structure. So all of these things are they're important for adolescents to see, right? We're modeling as parents, you're modeling for your children how to react and how to be um, uh, stable in difficult situations. Ultimately, the job of the parent is to model values that they want to pass on to their children, right? Values and beliefs and behaviors that they want to pass on to their children, traditions as well. If the parent is unstable, then the child will learn and pick up off that instability, right? And they need stability. They definitely need stability, but everything in their life is unstable. Friendships, uh, how they're doing in school, their bodies changing. I mean, everything in their world seems unstable. So it's good for them to have someone, particularly a parent, 
in their lives who maintains a sense of stability throughout their lives, that they're consistent, right? Oftentimes what I see parents do is that once the child enters the teenage years and they go crazy and wild in their emotions and feelings and thoughts and behaviors, the parent also jumps into that and they also become very sporadic and, and unstable and you know highs and lows along with the child. So there's no stability for either person. So as a parent, we need to learn, or as parents, we need to learn how to provide that stability for our children. If we don't have it in our own lives, it's gonna be very difficult to pass that on to our children or to even show them what that looks like. As difficult as the teenage years are, it's very important for parents to kind of keep a level head throughout, throughout that time. I know it's difficult, I know it's tough, you know, I've spoken and I've uh, been with a lot of parents as they go through those stages and I, I can only imagine how hard it is to actually practice being stable throughout those times. You know, I lost my cool a lot of times with my students because I just didn't get it. And, and it's easy to forget that we were teenagers too, that we did stupid things, that we um, didn't listen. It doesn't make it right. What I'm saying is that we forget and we kind of think to ourselves that we did better than, than they did. You know, it, it, that's just kind of the reality. That's what happens. As teenagers are going through these multiple changes and all of these different instabilities, they need one person, at least one person, someone in their life who can present them and provide for them a sense of stability. And sometimes that's, hopefully it's the parents, but sometimes it's a teacher. Sometimes it's a mentor. Sometimes it's a best friend, right? But someone to provide stability for the adolescent. There's a lot going on during that stage and, and you guys all know that. So I think most of us would agree that having a sense of stability in the home allows you to pick up off of that, to learn from, from your parents and learn from your household how to pass that stability also on to other people. So I had friends who had more stable homes than I did and I was able to learn and see, okay, so this is, this is what normal looks like or this is what good looks like in, in, in a family in regards to stability. I didn't have a, war, a horrible childhood or even a bad childhood, but one of the things that I, I do remember, I do remember feeling a lot of instability. So for me, it was beneficial to see other parents and other people have a sense of stability in their homes and I knew kind of what to look for and, and now providing that for my own family. So again, to just kind of recap, the fourth S of the development model is stability and adolescents very much need it during this very difficult time. So parents hang in there. Again, I don't have, my boys aren't teenagers yet, but you know, I hope they can receive the same encouragement from you and my other friends uh, who are there during that time, but stay the course as best as you can, provide your, your children, your teens, with a sense of stability, and I'm sure that they'll appreciate that when they get older. Thank you for your time, guys. I'll see you guys next week.